What's up, everyone? It is Daddy Gaming's Defiance Vesco here. Today, uh, we're going to be going over why I personally don't like lane bullies and why I think they're uh, relatively ineffective and not really useful for a team. So um, let's let's get right into it. So, what defines a lane bully? A lane bully is someone that almost by default will win lane in solo at least and falls off late game, doesn't really do too much, but will win lane. So examples of this are kind of Bologna, but she's good late. Definitely Osiris, definitely Robin. And then I think that should be it. Maybe Kabraken. Eh, less so of Kabraken though. But mainly you're going to be looking at Osiris and Robin. And a little bit of Bologna. <clears throat> so, why don't I like lane bullies? Well, it's in the definition really. Lane bullies are designed to win lane, right? They will win lane, but come late game, all they can, re all both of these characters can do is single out one person. That's all they can do. Osiris has pretty much single target um, slows outside of his three, which is a big AOE stun if everyone stands in it. Everything Robin has is single target. So the reason that I think that this is ineffective compared to having someone like Guan Yu, Ama, Odin, or a Vimana or Tyr on your team is because these guys... Tier, Vimana, Odin, uh, Guan Yu, Ama, they'll all do damage late, they will all set up kills late, they will all help, well some of them will help sustain your team late, and they can help you push down objectives and win team fights, whereas gods like Robin and Osiris will pretty much just be there and will single out one person and probably, chances are they won't kill that one person. And a coordinated team can easily shut down a lane bully in a team fight by recognizing that what they're trying to do and try to sort of read what that lane bully is trying to do to your squishies. So that's that's the reasoning why I don't like lane bullies. I don't think that they really are effective late game. I don't think that they're nearly as useful for a team as having someone like Amaterasu or Guan Yu, for example. I think really the only time that a lane bully is useful is if you're playing against a hyper carry like if you're playing against a bakasura or a kali or maybe an apollo or something like that something that is, that just does that is something that is designed on getting ahead early getting an early lead and snowballing off of that i think that's when lane bullies are effective however i still would rather have a team fight oriented god on my team and i would rather be playing that team fight oriented god because you'll be bringing a lot more to your team at the end of the game. I uh, I was reading an AMA by the guys of Panthera. They're the number one seeded team in um, Europe. They won Worlds as Epsilon, and they won Dreamhack as Panthera. So they were doing an AMA on Reddit, and their solo laner, Dimmy, said something that I really agreed with. He said something along the lines of... Um, North America really values lane bullies, and that he thinks it's more of an egotistical thing, um, saying that that they can kind of remove blame from themselves at the end of the game if, if they suffered a loss because they can say, well, I won lane, I did my job. When in reality, solo lane is not about winning your lane entirely. It partially is, but it's also about showing up late game and being that frontline presence, being able to set up kills, being able to secure kills and all that. And I, I really agreed with him there. I'm going to see if I can find the post, actually, because I don't want to butcher it. He says here, I've talked to Baskin about North America solo laners a lot, and he confirmed my assumption that they're all about winning lane. Apparently, all the solo laners have big egos over there, with the exception of Baskin, in my opinion, so winning lane is more important to them than winning the game. I admire their ability to play lane boys without being afraid of falling off later into the game, which is why I don't enjoy playing them. And I really agree with that. In my opinion, I think it's much more useful to have a teamfight-oriented god on your team in the late game as opposed to having a fed Robin, you know? So, that's my personal reasoning behind um, why I don't play lane bullies and why I don't like in lane bullies and why I don't really enjoy having them on my team. <clears throat> the only lane bully that's really an exception to this is Bologna, I think. Because Bologna is the anti- she's the anti-carry, you know? She has block stacks on her one, she can disarm an ADC, her bludgeon does a shit ton of damage late game, and she has really good initiate and peel, self-peel as well. <clears throat> Sorry, with her ultimate. 
However, gods like Osiris and Raven really fall off late game, and I don't think that they're nearly as beneficial to a team in the late game. Osiris, I think, is more valuable than Raven, mainly because of his ultimate, which is 100% anti-healing. It completely cancels out any healing that the enemy team tries to do. That's why I think Osiris is incredibly more valuable than a Raven on your team. So, there you have it. That's my reasoning behind why I don't enjoy lane bullies and why I don't think that you guys should really be playing lane bullies. So, um, I'm Ziffyas Escor. I will see you guys later.